Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you some really good survival Minecraft tips that will definitely help you in survival. They definitely helped me, so I hope they will help you too. The first thing you want to do is you always want to collect wood at the start. Every Minecraft mod or every world, you're just going to want to collect wood. And the first thing you want to do with this wood is you totally want to make a crafting table because crafting tables will definitely help. So you want to make a crafting table, and then once you have a crafting table, what you want to do straight away is you want to make a pickaxe, actually. Nothing else, just a pickaxe, basically. You can make a sword if you like. You can make anything you want with your extra wood, but a pickaxe would definitely help. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have a pickaxe because you want to go underground and you can get all this stone and it'll give you some nice resources actually because you can use that stone and you can make um better tools beside wooden tools so that's something that would really help you now you want to just go find like some kind of cave or something any cave will do as long as it has stone in it like just for example that mountain over there that looks like a pretty nice spot to get yourself some stone so let's just get us some stone real quick try to get much stone as possible until you finally get tired of mining and stuff so i'm just gonna get a bit of stone you know so we have like enough materials to get ourselves a like couple of important starter tools so with the rest of your wood you're gonna want to make a couple more sticks you can make a pickaxe and a sword would work nice so then maybe you so what you want right now is you want a stone pickaxe a stone sword and a stone axe so you can go ahead and collect yourself some wood because those are some pretty nice darter tools for minecraft survival worlds you also want your location for your house to be near like some good survival resources like you want it to be near trees and water because like water you can use to like grow your crops and like you can make your like seeds and all so that's what you want to do first and then you want to go back here and get your like stone axe already so now we are going to go and find a nice place for a house so you want to try to get like a nice looking place but that still has like water and trees or somewhere like you don't want a dry area with no water otherwise you have to go like get like iron and stuff go under a cave and get water and that would be really hard and stuff so you don't want that so maybe like a good spot like right here because all the trees are here and we have a little bit of water here so maybe you want to build like a house right here now, whatever you do, do not kill the animals near you because they'll be very good later on. Like, once you get shoes and, like, fences and stuff, you can get those animals in your farm. All right, now, once you have all your tools, you can just, like, collect more wood and stuff. And I recommend for a food source, you can go get some fish and you can cook it in your furnace. Or you can go... I know there's oceans that have seaweed, and I definitely know you can collect seaweed in the ocean and you can cook it, so that would be pretty nice. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is you want a, you want to get a bed, like, like, you want to get a bed, like, straight away. So, you want to, like, go, you should probably dig down, like, right in this area, and, like, just, like, start digging here with your pick, and try to find iron. If you cannot find iron, if it's absolutely impossible for you, you can go ahead and kill the sheep. But I'm just saying, you probably want a bed, like, honestly, straight away. Otherwise, phantoms will come, and that would be pretty bad. So, you want to go, like, get, like, a bed straight away. That would be pretty nice. So, yeah, you want to go here and stuff and, like, get some items and materials. So then, once you have, like, your, like, good resources, maybe you want to go ahead and make a furnace and stuff. Because if you go and make a furnace, you can cook all those items. So, like, some starter things you may want. You want at least a stone sword, a stone pickaxe, and a stone axe. And you want to at least have a crafting table and a furnace. 
And as I said, the good food resources would definitely be some seaweed and maybe like, I don't know, go ahead, like fish would be well. So then once you have all those materials, you want to try to build like a not really nice house. Like you don't want to build like an extremely good house because you never know. You may not live here for a long time and it will take a long time to make a giant house so maybe you want to go ahead and make like a tiny house made of dirt or something like make an underground cave house because that would be pretty nice so for now maybe you can just dig underground and make a simple house you don't want it to be too nice and all because that would take forever to make and stuff and like it'll just be really hard but once you have lots of good materials like a bed a crafting table and a furnace then you can go ahead and make a good house like once you have enough materials and all so yeah that would be like some pretty good starter stuff and all so that's all for now I was trying on my way to think of some good stuff I was thinking of good survival tips that helped me out so I was just thinking maybe they'd help you out for a bit. So yeah, that's kind of it. This is only episode one of How to Minecraft. I'll definitely make some more Minecraft videos on like how to do stuff and how to build Minecraft buildings and stuff. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video.